Hi everyone, this is Yana Smakula for SimonSustain.com and thanks for joining me today. Welcome to another episode from my bi-monthly Yippee for Yana video series. Today's episode is all about watercolor. I've always been a fan of dark, bold colors. So to create the card I'm sharing in this video, I picked my favorite lunar blue and indigo colors from Daniel Smith and watercolored a background. But let's start from the beginning. The stained glass greetings stamp set from the latest release from Simon Says Stamp has quickly become a favorite of mine. I simply adore that font and the overall look of the words. So I pulled love, peace, and joy from this set and arranged all three words into one large message for my card. So here I have a message that reads, wishing you love, peace, and joy at Christmas. I arranged my stamps inside my Misty. This really helped me to make sure that the words were parallel to each other and that the spacing was just right. And I stamped them in Simon's embossing ink onto Arch's hot pressed watercolor paper. I made sure to prep my paper before stamping with an anti-static powder tool. Now, I can't tell you how much I love this particular paper, Arches. Ever since I learned about it a few years ago, I haven't used any other watercolor paper because I simply cannot. It's like when you use something okay for a long time and then you've tried something much better. There's just no going back to that okay product. You want to use the much better product only and that's the case with me in this particular paper. Now, Arches is not a cheap paper. In fact, it's rather expensive paper. But if you divide it into sheets or into cards, for instance, I can use one sheet to make four cards and there's 12 sheets in a pad, so that makes 48 cards, I'm pretty happy. And if I happen to mess up my watercolor, there's always the other side of the paper that can be used, so nothing really goes to waste. Anyhow, I steamed my message, I added white embossing powder and I heat set it. I was debating if I should use antique gold or white embossing powder. I really do love the look of gold on blue, but I decided I wanted to have the look of white snow on my card. So I went with white. Now there isn't an at uh, stamp in this stamp set in the stained glass greetings, but there is at Christmas time. So I used the at from there and inked up just the at part to complete my sentiment. Moving on to coloring now. I've taped my paper onto the board to prevent it from warping and buckling and started coloring. Now, truth be told, I just messed around with my watercolors for the most part. I did have an idea of what I wanted to see in the look like, but I wasn't really sure how to get there and I didn't mind playing for a little bit. I did wet on wet coloring for the most part and wet my paper with a flat one inch wide brush before adding the color. I used Daniel Smith watercolors. You can see my palette sitting right there on the right, but I only used the colors available in my Daniel Smith Yana's palette that's exclusive uh, to Simon Says Stamp. This palette contains 18 of my most favorite colors to use, and the palette is very affordable. So if you'd like to try some of these or maybe all of these colors, I cannot recommend this kind of palette enough. I have a video on my YouTube channel showing this palette in detail and walking you through some of the colors that have some special qualities to them. And Simon has additional palettes similar to this one available in their store. This is actually how I got acquainted with these Daniel Smith watercolors and I have no regrets. Well, my wallet might have some regrets, but I truly adore these watercolors for my coloring. Okay, so the colors I'm going to use to color today are Duochrome Oceanic. Now, this is a very light color and it has tons of shimmer in it. I also mixed it in with my indigo later to add the shimmer there as well. And you can do that. You can use your shimmering watercolors and mix them in with other colors to add shimmer to those other colors. I also used Cobalt Teal Blue ultramarine turquoise and you'll see me add this color at the very end lunar blue and of course indigo i think i also used a little bit of satellite janion for this project too so the idea was to watercolor a chilly night sky with lots of stars 
I made sure to keep the center part of the painting lighter and add lots more color around the edges to draw the eye of the recipient of this card to the sentiment. You'll probably notice that half the time this watercolor will look like a hot mess and honestly this is how I felt about it too. But I enjoyed the process and I kept coloring and kept coloring and it, it, it kept getting better. I used a clean brush and went over the heat embossed letters and cleaned up my pigment that was sitting on top of the letters. Doing that helped the white pop. I also pulled out my fine tech watercolors and added lots of pearlescent white splatter onto this background, mimicking snow. I'm so glad I did that as I think this pearlescent snow is what really pulled the whole piece together. So now you can see I've removed the piece from the board and it actually looks really nice. I decided I wanted to add some more white onto this card, so I pulled one of my W plus 9 stamp sets. This is the Holiday Boughs set, and I stamped a few of the pine branches from here in clear embossing ink and added white embossing powder. You can also go all the way around the sentiment with the branches, but I decided I only wanted to bring mine about a third up and have that uh, very dark or almost black night sky at the top. Now, if you don't want to heat emboss your branches, you can also just stamp them in black ink and have them look like silhouettes. I think that will also look really great. I trimmed my panel to four by five and a quarter inches and foam mounted it onto an A2 side folding card. Lastly, I added a few more stars onto the sky using a white gel pen. I love the way this card turned out much better than I had hoped. So this finishes this video. As always, do tag us on social media so we can take a peek at your projects. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Bye!